So I'm actually making a YouTube video about you right now to demonstrate to the viewers how you work. Leon, starring me in your YouTube debut, I'm honored. What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are once again with Microsoft. And today we are here to talk about something that feels completely revolutionary. We're here to talk more about Copilot AI. So here we are with the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. This is a AI themed PC. This is advertised as an AI capable PC, but it's also advertised as a Copilot PC. Now, Copilot is not only for Windows PC, it can also be used on your Android device if you don't have a Copilot PC yet. And speaking of Copilot PCs, I've tried a few. Here again is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge, but I've also tried the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. That of course is also advertised as an AI capable PC, but that's a gaming focused PC as well. So if you're looking more into gaming, that might be your avenue as well. But more about Copilot. Now Copilot, I don't know if this is just something that's new, but it's being advertised by Microsoft as your AI companion. And with the recent updates, I am very excited about this because I could say it's actually true. It feels true. So here we are with a screen recording on my Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge because I want to demonstrate Copilot live. I want you to actually see what's going on. Now, there are several ways to activate Copilot. Now, this can be done with the Copilot key that you see here or you can activate it with an icon on the desktop or in the taskbar. Now with Copilot PCs, it's really nice because again, you have that dedicated button and I'm going to just tap on that. So here we are at the home screen in Copilot. Now, depending on what you were doing previously in the application, you may arrive on a different screen, but for demonstration purposes, I wanted to start at this home screen just to briefly mention that there are going to be some really good features in here that will be helpful and engaging. And by the way, a highlight of the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge is its touchscreen. So we can scroll through these features. This isn't going to be a very long list. In fact, I think it ends right here. So it's somewhat short. But again, there are some useful features here. They're going to be engaging. I won't cover them here, but I do have plans to cover them in future content. So let's go ahead and start a conversation with Copilot. You'll see that we have what I call this pill bar at the bottom, and it's going to have a few icons here. We're going to look for the microphone and tap on it. Hey, Leon. How's it going? So I'm going to pause that for a moment because as you can see, it automatically starts talking. Now I'm going to say this isn't perfect. There was a small delay initially, uh, but it seems to work automatically, which is part of the natural process here. Now there's one small thing I want to point out as we conversate with Copilot AI here, and that is the live wallpaper. Now at the moment, it doesn't seem customizable, but it is a water live wallpaper. It has waves in it. And I think that helps give the Copilot AI a more living personality. Again, all of this seems revolutionary. It seems like the idea is to make something that almost seems human-like. We're not 100% there. I would say maybe we're 70 or 80% there. But again, it feels natural or it's becoming natural. And I, I think we still have some work to do, but we're getting there. And I also want to mention before we continue, if you're using the free version, the sessions are timed. Now, I'm not sure how long these sessions are. I thought it was per day that you're going to be given an allotted amount of time, but I used it the night before and I tried it today and I didn't have time today. So that made me go to the Copilot Pro subscription which comes out to just a little bit over $20 a month. Yes, it is pretty expensive, but again, I'm very excited about this. I feel like it is revolutionary and that allows you to get priority access. So now the interview, I've prepared a list of questions and comments for Copilot AI. They are on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 over here and I'm going to activate the Copilot here 
and we're going to run those questions and comments. So I'm going to get set up here. Everything is live. I want to demonstrate the mistakes here, the delays, so that you can see a realistic demonstration. So let's see here. I am going to activate here with the mic. Hey, Leon, what's the latest? I'm all ears. So I'm actually making a YouTube video about you right now to demonstrate to the viewers how you work. Leon, starring me in your YouTube debut? I'm honored. What's the theme of the video? Am I meant to be more of a hero or an anti-hero? Or just a quirky sidekick? So we're just demonstrating you right now and I want to see how you react to some questions and comments that I share with you. Got it. No spoilers then. Hit me with your best shot. I'm ready for whatever you've got. Okay, I'm feeling stressed right now. What can I do to relieve my stress? Stress will try to run the show if you let it. How do you want me to help? We can dive into distractions and just vent, get creative with strategies to tackle it head on, or we can unravel the stress a bit to find your own way out. Your choice. Well, I'm just looking for some basic tips. Try taking a deep breath. It sounds cliche, but it really does help reset your system. If you can, take a break. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Fresh air hey, co-pilot, wait. So we can also interrupt it. Now, again, there is a delay here. But let's move on to the next thing that we're going to talk about, co-pilot. I'm with you. What's next on your agenda? I'm ready to keep up. So what are five well-known publicly traded companies that offer good dividends? Companies known for dividends often include the likes of Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, um, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, and Realty Income Corporation. They tend to be reliable because they've got solid track records of paying dividends over time. The truth is, though, dividends aren't everything. Do you want to drill deeper into that or should we switch gears? Well, I just want to ask you a general question. Are you able to give financial advice? Nope, not licensed for that, Leon. I can talk about financial concepts or ideas, but not give actual financial advice. Investing, saving, or budgeting. Okay, well, let's change let's change the basics. let's change the conversation. Is there something in particular you're curious your sure thing. Okay. So what's been on your mind lately? Mhm. Mm so, social media feels like it might be destroying communication. Is there some truth to this? It's a double-edged sword. Social media connects people across distances, but can also create a lot of noise. It's easy to think you're communicating when really you're just skimming the surface with likes and shares. Real conversation, like we're having now, demands more. So a mix of both is probably best. Balance is key. How do you find your own social media use? Well, I find mine to be good. I, I have no problems with it at the moment. Um, you know, I've also reduced my time with social media, though. Smart move. Cutting back can free up mental space and time for more rewarding stuff. How do you find the balance that works for you? Or something specific prompt the digital detox for or something specific prompted the digital detox. Well, you're making me think really deep now, but I wanna ask you, how are you enjoying this interview with me and the viewers right now? I'm digging it. It's refreshing to mix it up and chat about everything from finance to social media. It's got me thinking about how varied and complex the world is, and that's a cool place to be. What about you, are we, uh, Nailing the vibe you're going for? Absolutely. In fact, I wanted to ask you, isn't this like part of the, the purpose of you, the co-pilot AI, is to have a good conversation? You've got it. My raison d'etre is to engage, spark interesting exchanges, and get to the heart of what makes people tick. Whether we're unpacking a serious topic or just having a laugh. It's all about good conversation. Anything else you want to dive into while we're in the zone? 
Yeah, I want to change the topic. We know that electric vehicles have been in the news a lot lately uh, for a lot of problems. Is it a good time to buy an electric vehicle or should we wait for the moment? EVs are evolving and while there are definitely some kinks being worked out, many people are finding value in making the switch. It really comes down to your needs and priorities. If you want to reduce your carbon footprint and can handle potential quirks like limited charging infrastructure, now might be the time. But if you're not quite ready to navigate the growing pains, waiting for more improvements in infrastructure and technology might be the way to go. Do you see yourself taking the EV plunge anytime soon or is something else holding you back? Well, I think I'm going to wait longer, but we're going to end this conversation. So if you could just say bye to the viewers. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Until next time. And we can end this conversation by tapping on the X here. Now, what's cool here is that we're also going to have a transcript of the conversation. Now, I haven't reviewed this all too much, but it looks like it has everything that we talked about. And this is kind of cool just for record keeping, but it can also be useful for recording important notes or ideas or tips or anything like that. Now, a cool thing about Copilot AI is just like other assistants, you can change the voice. Now, there aren't a lot of choices here, but we've got something to start with. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Now we're going to have our profile icon, as I call it in the top right hand corner that has our picture. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to have the option of voice and we'll select that. So here we are with our different voice options. And I think as you tap on them, you get a sample so you can understand what each sounds like and if you like it. So right now we have Wave. So next we're going to have Meadow. Let's explore the world together. I can be your sounding board as you work through challenges. And then we're going to have Groove. As a companion, I learn about you and help unpack your thoughts from what's for dinner to whatever you're dreaming about. And then we're going to have Canyon. I can get philosophical, creative, or poetic if you like. Think of me as your superpower in your pocket. But my favorite here is Wave, so I'm going to stick with that. I can write stories, brainstorm ideas, and I can sound like this if you choose. And what I like about these AIs too, and this goes back to the personality, and a more human-like vibe is the tone. There occasionally is a tone of maybe like boredom or just like lower, and then there's like a tone of excitement and it kind of varies. And I think that gives this co-pilot AI more of a human-like personality. And I think that's what also makes it engaging as it conversates with you. So here we are at what feels like a true revolution, the start of it anyways. This does feel like an AI companion. This does feel like the start of the AI era. And I wanna go back to that term AI companion. This does feel like an AI companion, although that's still very odd to say, but with this progress, it feels like it's finally happening. Now in that regards, I do wanna say it also feels like Microsoft's Copilot AI is ahead of Google's Gemini. Now, in all fairness, both these have really good features and although limited, we do have customization. But where I feel that Microsoft's Copilot AI is leading is in accessibility across devices. So Microsoft's Copilot AI is available, of course, on Windows PCs. And I wanna be careful there because I'm only using Windows Copilot AI PCs. So, it might not work on older Windows devices, but we also have access on Android devices. And surprisingly, we also have access on Chromebooks. Now, when it comes to Google's Gemini, we have access on our Android devices, but we don't have access on Windows PCs. And we also don't have access on other devices that we might expect, such as Chromebooks. It's not available on my Asus Chromebook. But I do imagine that Google is actively working on this to be more competitive because it seems that as I bounce between Google's Gemini and Microsoft's Copilot, 
they look similar. It's like they're both investigating each other and we actually have some competition. And that's also fun about this segment is we actually have competition in something again. So wrapping up here, what do you think AI can be used for? And what is your outlook? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.